Irish. Your boss. See. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today, we're not in Tartosa, thankfully, because my last three videos, I believe, were there, and we really needed a change of scenery. So for today, we are in Brightchester, which comes with Discovery University. And this is a university housing building. It belongs to, I believe it's called U Bright, but I'm not sure. But it's like the more uh, old fashioned historical looking university, uh, kind of like Oxford and, and such. And I'm changing it into like my own version of the Slytherin common room from Harry Potter. Uh, and I'm a huge Potterhead, so I really enjoyed doing this build. I love Harry Potter so much, uh, both the books and the movies, and I did play the first two video games back in the good old days when I had a PlayStation 2. And the music that I chose for you today is actually from the first video game. And it's actually composed by the same composer for Skyrim's music and I didn't know that so when I found out it was such a lovely coincidence because Skyrim's music is probably one of the best music video game soundtracks ever. Uh, but back to the build. Uh, you can see me changing the whole exterior, how it looks. Of course some of the walls are fixed kind of like with apartments so you can't change them, but I changed whatever I could change, like uh, the wall swatches and the windows, doors, columns, fences, just basically anything that I could edit. And I did delete the whole roof and redo it all over again. And we have this glass piece here, which is absolutely beautiful and it creates this beautiful lighting and shadow effect in the room underneath, which you're gonna see in the end. Or I think I even showed that in the beginning, I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here on the balconies we don't have that much going on. I placed the ivy from Discovery University on the walls and I also grabbed the one from the vampires pack, the one with uh, the thorns and roses. And I really like that plant actually, I think it's highly underrated. And we just have some seating, seating areas, uh, a bench and a table. And it's the same for, for the other balcony, so if your sim like wants some peace and quiet, some alone time, or maybe grow, go out and study in the fresh air, they could go out to the balcony, or you know, I think that if your sims want to go on like a nice romantic college date they could go out on the balcony and have the date because it looks very romantic and it's perfect for a date for this other balcony it's the same thing but i did place two statues here and they're the ones that come with romantic garden uh I actually probably use those statues in most of my builds, but that's just because there aren't many statues in the game. We definitely need more. Like that's a uh, high priority on my want list for The Sims. We need more statues. For the roof, I placed ivy as well, and I probably should have added more variety in the plants that I was using because it kind of created this repetitive pattern which I don't think looks very good. Anyway, we're about to move into the inside. And the Slytherin common room in Harry Potter is actually, I think, supposed to be underground or under the Black Lake. I don't really remember. And it's supposed to be like this dark and dingy dungeon. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that for this, even though it's it's still a bit dark, 
but we have a lot of windows and this room here has the skylight so it isn't as dark as it's uh, supposed to be but anyway uh, here we have like the main common room area and those stone things I grabbed were from the Journey to the Two tea bug and that pad is criminally underrated actually but just for the build and buy items because I don't do gameplay and I don't like Star Wars so uh, yeah <laughs> but anyway the build and buy items are just great and they go well with all of my builds or most of my builds and this room here is like the social area like for your sims if you want if they want to converse and chat or maybe even throw a party uh i think it's great they could like move the tables around and the sofas and just throw a party in here and i noticed that the furniture was kind of missing some green in some of the rooms so i added uh this green lighting but not for like all the lights just some of them just to add a pop of green here and there because you know it's Slytherin's color so you can't have a Slytherin build without green in it and I forgot to mention this but I'm actually doing a full voiceover for this video I and mean, you probably know that by now uh, because we're seven minutes in and I'm still talking and uh, this is such a challenge still up after all this time it's still a challenge for me and you know I don't always do this I just did that once before and this is my second time attempting this so fingers crossed that my mind doesn't go blank while I'm talking like it usually does but uh, that did happen before because this is my I think my 40 42nd take on this voiceover which is a lot but every time I press the record button like something would happen like either my mind goes blank while I'm talking or my neighbors get super noisy like they are right now so I hope you can't hear them in the background or like someone screams in the street which is normal where I live um, <laughs> and yeah but anyway this is going well so far I believe <laughs> I'm not sure but this here is the boy dorms I mean they're not really gender specific you could you could use them for girls as well or for both because they aren't like uh, boyish or girly uh, you have a mix of both I guess both styles but I did add some personality to some of the beds and the area surrounding the bed uh, like someone likes potions and someone is into divination oh this guy here is into potions and someone is into herbology there is like this bed in the corner that has a lot of plants around it that's for the herbology guy and yeah I just wanted to look like it has more character and some of the beds are super messy and cluttered like to show an like an unorganized person <laughs> and I just really cluttered up these rooms because I don't know when I think university students I can hardly think of them their dorms being organized and clean that just isn't the reality unfortunately if you're a college student or student or if you were one before then you you probably know that and I've had my share of roommates I've had so many roommates and things can get messy <laughs> sometimes so 
Uh, yeah, that's what I did with these rooms. Here we are, like, in the library section, study section. This is probably the most study... The most study-esque... Uh, is that even a word? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the most appropriate place for study in this build. We have the Realm of Magic bookshelves that I actually added a second row of on top of the first one to make them like go up to the ceiling and some study tables and yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this room i think we're almost done with it and we're gonna move on to the potion room i think the potion and chess room or the living the other living room i don't remember which one we're gonna see oh yeah this is the other living room uh your sims can use this for studying or also for uh chatting catching up with their friends because it's right in front of the elevator so so if someone is like visiting from another house they can come and sit here with their Slytherin buddies and I don't know it looks like this little Slytherin cafe uh, I just remember that I didn't put a kitchen here <laughs> oh my god I don't know did it have a kitchen before was it supposed to have a kitchen oh god I don't remember uh, you know, I'm gonna edit this and add in a kitchen here in one of the corners. Just add a few counters, like probably here, and a fridge. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but it's common sense, you know? Uh, the university students will get hungry and will need food at some point. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't make sense to just go down to the cafeteria and eat there whenever they went hungry. They definitely need their own fridge and, and such. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. But anyway, um, did you notice the coffin table? The coffin table? Yes, I used a coffin as a coffee table. And I actually saw this trick somewhere I don't remember who did it so credit to whoever did it I'm just uh, I'm sorry I don't remember who because I do watch a lot of speed builders and it's uh, hard to keep track of who you get your inspiration from I'm sure you can relate uh, here this is the potion and chest room um, the chess tables are to gain some logic skills and because, you know, chess is a thing in Hogwarts. And I actually had to replace the po the cauldron because, the, like, this is so dumb, I don't understand it, but you're not allowed to put outdoor cooking in university housing and the cauldron is counted as outdoor cooking, which is dumb by the way, but yeah, I had to replace that with the cauldron that is, I think, in the miscellaneous section of the electronics, and it's like, uh, it has this light show, I think, um, I don't remember, but yeah, it's not an actual cauldron. Here in the bathroom, I really wanted to recreate the sinks from the movies, so I grabbed this a stone column from I think it's get together uh, and I surrounded it with these realm of magic sinks and the vampires mirrors and these columns which I think are from realm of magic and I actually replaced the bathroom stalls later on because I realized that I forgot to put showers so I deleted those and just placed regular walls and put in some showers and toilets inside them. And I thought for the doors I'd use this um, decoy door 
uh, thing because the doors are like right next to each other so it will look better if uh, I made them look like bookshelves. And here we are, we are in the girls, well not the girls, like I said, you can do whatever you want with the rooms, but this is the other dorm. And this one is actually smaller than the first one because I had to extend the bathroom to be able to fit the toilets and showers. So this one is a bit smaller, but it has the same number of beds, I think, I'm not sure. And I did change a few things here, like for example, instead of the study table, I placed these desks from base game. And those suitcases are actually a TV console table that I placed backwards because um, on the other side, they're kind of like hollowed out and have these shelves. So I wanted them to look like uh, suitcases and I think that's a really cool idea. <laughs> Here I am cluttering up, of course. Um, in the main hall, I wanted to place some floating candles like in Hogwarts Great Hall. And with this, we're at the end of the speed build. So thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you. Bye.